Welcome to the Bronx Hip Hop Oral History Project. Today is Saturday, September 21st, 2024. I am Pastor Crespo Jr., the research librarian and archivist for the Bronx County Historical Society. Today I am joined by Lian Figueroa, also known as Spa, a dancer, pioneering b-boy, co-founder of the Crazy Commando Crew, also known as the CC Crew, and known as the man with a thousand moves. Welcome, Spy. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it's Spy, the man with a thousand moves. Um, I'm here for you, whatever you wanna ask. I'm here to answer it correctly. I'm here to um, um, put down the true facts of everything, everything, you know? So I welcome you to anything you wanna ask me, I'm here. So. And I really wanna thank you, give you a special thanks, cause I know you know, you and, and your partner, Leanne, have driven three hours this Saturday morning, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I know you're coming to visit Kid Freeze during his event. Yes. So I thank you for, you know, plugging in some time with me here at the Society, you know, to record your history and your testimony of how you participated in hip hop mm -hmm. and breaking. Yes. So we like to start out all our oral histories in this project by finding out who you are by asking about your parents. Can you talk to us about each of your parents and where they come from? Yes, from Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican, first of all. I'm Puerto Rican. A lot of people mistake me for being black, and that's what I want to correct. Everybody thinks that I'm black because I was raised up in the South Bronx with, you know, black, with black people. And there's nothing wrong with I understand that, you know. I was like one amongst many, many blacks, you know. I grew up in the South Bronx. Um, towards, you could say, towards um, Westchester Avenue, um, Soundview, um, Bronx River, towards that area before I moved to the west side. But, um, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. My family is Puerto Rico, straight from Puerto Rico. I was born in Puerto Rico, so I'm 100% Puerto Rican, raised up in the Bronx. So, you know, um, my father is also Puerto Rican. Um, my mom's Puerto Rican. My mom's brought me here at three years old, so I basically to the Bronx, so I, I grew up in the Bronx. Wow, do you remember what year it was that your mother came here to the Bronx with you? Um, 1967 it was, I was three years old. Wow, wow, and uh, where, is she, where is she from in Puerto Rico, what town? Santuce, Santuce, Puerto Rico. And how about your father? They're both from Santuce. Both from Santuce. Yeah. Did she ever tell you why she came to the South Bronx and the reason for leaving Puerto Rico? Um, to to make a better life because it was they were struggling out in Puerto Rico. We was kind of poor back then. Um, my, you know, come from a poor family, um, struggling out there. So my aunt had came out here first. My aunt Anna came out here first. So my mom followed her steps. She came out here. I, you know, her, you know, she had me and my brother. She was struggling out there in Puerto Rico. So she. She decided to come out here to try to make a better life for herself, and um, she brought us, you know, she came out here to see if she could, you know, do better. In, in other words, try to get some money and try to make a living, you know, because, you know, she, I guess got tired of struggling, because it was, a, she had a big family too. My grandmother had like, um, I think it was like 16 kids. I got mad uncles and mad aunts, so. So everybody was like trying to do better for themselves. So my aunt had shot over here first and my mom followed her steps and she came with two kids, which was me and my little brother, you know, um, she know, so I guess she, she's, you know, she followed the, the code that they were saying, you come to New York, it was a better life or whatever. I forgot the, what they were saying. You come over here, you, um, you know, you, you, you work and you get money. So she was, that's what she came for, to see if she could make a better, you know, better living. Right, right. I understand you, you moved around a little in the Bronx, mm -hmm. but did you stay in the general area where you live? You know, what kind of neighborhood do you call uh, home? No, basically, I raised all over the Bronx because my mom was like moving. For, at first, she was like staying all over family members' house because we had family here, a lot of cousins and all that. So um, there was family here, but... Not that I, you know, like cousins, she was moving in a lot of cousins' houses, so she was moving from place to place. Then it's just, I, I guess, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was welfare or whatever it was, because I was so young. She was moving every, like, six, 
seven, eight months, she would move from place to place. Like I would move, say I would live towards Yankee Stadium one moment, then I would move towards Southern Boulevard and then towards um, Fordham Road and then towards um, Kingsbridge. Like she, would, she was moving all over the place. Um, she wouldn't stay still like one year in one place, nine months in one place like that. She would move all over the place. She wouldn't stay still. Wow. Um, Kind of sounds like you were a true son of the Bronx. Yeah, you're I was from, moving all over. over I was moving all over the Bronx. So, why, why, why young? Why, real young. I mean, it's, I would say from from when I, when I came here at what three years old. Um, you could say from like from three to like ten, I was traveling all over the Bronx. My mom was br moving me all over. I, you know, you know how you got to go to parents. So. She was moving me all over the place. I was going from different schools, different place, different place, moving like, and the thing was, it was like, like ghetto places, like, like bad buildings and things like that, poor buildings. So, you know, living in bad places, bad situations and ghettos and, Got it. you know, some, some buildings was like damn near abandoned too. They looked terrible. Wow. And, um, do, do you remember, you know, uh, what what was like a typical dinner at home, you know, that your mother cooked for you? What yeah, did you enjoy? rice and beans most of the time was rice and beans and chicken, like um, rice and beans and pork chops. Um, everything was basically like rice and beans. I guess it was like um, a lot of mashed potatoes too, but a lot of, most, most of it was rolled, mostly it was rice and beans. A lot of rice, a lot of rice always. And bread. Got you it. Know? Got it. And... Uh, you know, what, what type of music did your mother listen to, you know, that kind of influenced your dancing? Because you started dancing early, so mm -hmm. that means, you know. Well, um, she listened to a lot of salsa. Okay. A lot of Spanish music with salsa, a lot of um, mambo, a lot of salsa. So, you know, um, like, like a lot of bongas, a lot of bongos. I got, I got into the music, like, real early into it, so. I, I even know how to play all that, like timbales. I know how to play all everything. So um, I got into the music because my uncles and them, like I told you, I had a big family. They was all instrumentals. All of them had, they used to play. You know what I'm saying? One used to play the bonga, the other one used to play the timbales. And, and like, they used to make, they used to do their own music too. So I grew up around that. So I always loved the music. Got you know what I'm saying? You remember any family gatherings where like your uncles came, you know, and what was that like? You know, oh, yeah. as a young kid, yeah, one of your it was family big, gatherings. big. Everybody would be there, got mad food. They would make cook food. Everybody was having fun, like like music. Every a get together. It used to be like that, like more, like on the weekends a lot, especially on the weekends it's, and and doing parties like um, birthday parties and celebrations. It was like get togethers. Yeah, everybody dancing a lot of us, especially. Starts up dancing, you know, and and slow. How do you call the slow motion music? The slow motion, like the slow dancing. The slow dancing. I used to love to grind with the slow with the, with the dogs and all that. Cause I was a right, little, right. little freak dog, so I used to like to dance with the big older women and shit like that. So, you know, I used to love that. So, yeah, I used to love to get the get togethers and especially my grandmother. My grandma used to always. My grandmother. My grandmother's house was the open house. You know what I'm saying? All right. Everybody used to come in there. I'm talking about they used to even live there. Like, like she opened up. That's why my mom's the same way, open hearted. So she used to let, like, like anybody like that that needed help, she would help them. My grandmother was like, like an open house. You know what I'm saying? If you needed help, she would come in and she would help you. Your grandmother lived in the Bronx too? No, my grandma's from Puerto Rico. Got it, got Straight it. up, she never. She you remember she, from Puerto she, Rico? Yeah, she came. She came. To, she came to New York. I think like once or twice the month. Got it to visit. Yeah, All she right. never. She never. Yeah, never lived yeah. out here. She never lived out here. Okay. Same thing with my aunt. My aunt only came like one of my aunts that was real close to me. Like damn near raised me too. Cause my mom had passed away years ago. And my aunt Anna, she like one of the ones that raised me. She only came like to New York a few times, only to come see me. I was incarcerated for a long time. That's why I've been missing in action, you know. So she only came like, like say two or three times to New York. Well, she used to live out here years ago, back in the seventies, early seventies, mid seventies. Because I tell you, my mom's came to live with her, but 
she had left like the late seventies and ain't been here since. Got until it. recently that I got locked up and she came, you know, like but um besides that, yeah, my grandmother was always like Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. She never really been out here. Right, right. Rest in peace because she passed away a while back too. Right. You know. But they all call, you know, Puerto Rican. They they, they strict strictly the culture out there. You know. Talk to me about, you know, young, you know, Lian in the South Bronx during elementary school times. What kind of games did you play in your different neighborhoods? Just talk to me about okay, your life. We used to play like okay, we used to play a lot of hide and seek. We used to play um tags. We used to like the school that I used to go to, um, basically, there was a lot of gangs back then. Okay. So it wasn't like, it was like a lot of gang members. I grew up in the South Bronx, so it's like, 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 there was a lot of gang members. So you really have to really roll with the gang members. Like, you couldn't really, like, be, being young also, I was running with, with, uh, with the baby skulls and, and I was like, they like, like embraced me and I was running with them too. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was like like a little gang member too. Like so um I used to do bad activities with them too. So you know like like it was it was it was, it was kinda of bad in the Bronx back then. A lot of like, you know a lot of bad things going on because there was a lot of gang members. Right. You know, it was in the 70s, it was basically all about gangs right, in the South Bronx. Got you it. know, so, but you still had good activities because we used to, you know, um, we used to, you know, we used to play while I was young. We used to play our little tags and we used to uh, hide and seek. So we used to uh, um, climb all over the back of the building through the fire skate all the way up to the roof. So one, of my, one of my best friends fell off the roof and died. You know, we used to like, like, like be on the top of the roof, all up on the corners, running out all up on the sides. Like, like, we used to do a lot of crazy stuff. Like, like, basically, like, we used to have fun. We used to live right across the street of a bridge. We used to be climbing under the bridge, right down, down in, um, so, well, on Southern Boulevard, you got Westchester Avenue, you got the train, the train tracks, right? The trains used to be coming through. The, we used to, the, well, they used to be the older, the older gang members. They used to be robbing the trains and stealing boxes. And before you know it, um, we had a whole bunch of toys and a whole bunch of stuff. And you know, for all of us, like, so you know, it was it was good too. You know, what I mean, right. can't really knock them too. The, the older dudes used to get a whole bunch of stuff and give it to us. They also used to punish us and beat us up too, so to make us tough. All right. You know, so. How, how, how did your neighborhood think about, you said you were baby skull, yeah. you know, how, how did your, the neighborhood look at them? What, uh, were they a part of the community? Yeah, there was, there was, there was part of it. Like, like they couldn't really do nothing. There was, there was like family. Everybody was family. Like, you know, they didn't look at it like nothing, like, like, like say something would happen. They turn, they, they turn their cheek, you know, they, right. like say the cops come, they turn their cheek. They, nobody would say nothing, you know. Everybody embraced each other. The neighborhood embraced each other. It's like one big whole community. Everybody take care of each other. That's how it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, if another person would come from the outside, it would, you know, it would, it would, he would definitely, definitely, um, would have to know somebody in that community. It couldn't be like, you couldn't just come in there like that. No, it, to the adults. Mm -hmm. Because the, all the all, all the kids of us, we was good. You know what I'm saying? We run around and and play and buy candies and all that. But the the other the, 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 the teenagers and all that, they had a little strict a little way where other other gang members couldn't come through and things like that. So right, basically, right. Like, that's how it was. But as far as the community, the people, some people used to live scared. You know what I'm saying? Because it always was like that. Some people used to like talk, you know, uh, hate this and that. I wish shit would change and all that. But then you had the other people that used to love it because you was, you was, they was protected. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was, it was, it was all beautiful because we was all, all, all family. We looked at it as all being family. Well, I looked at it as all being family. Everybody else looked at it as all being family. Got it. Got it. And what other um, 
gangs were out there that you saw, the colors that you recognize in your neighborhoods? Well, you had you had um, you had the Savage Nomads, you had the Skulls. I mean, you had um, the Black Spades, and you had the Chinglings way down on the other side. You had um, the Black Falcons that was the Lord. Yeah, that's what I really remember though. Got it. Uh, got the, it. They had a few other gangs, but I don't really remember the name because they used to be little. You know what I'm saying? So they, they couldn't really go around our area. All right. You know? And now, you know, when was the first time Spy saw someone breaking? You know, and you, do you remember what year or what grade you were in when you first saw someone? And what was your impression? I never really saw somebody breaking because um, I, I seen, like, like, I seen on TV the journey. Um, um, I seen the Russians doing some shit like this, right? And doing like 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 swipes. So I try to copy it while dancing with the music, and that's how it all formed. You know, I was because I used to be into gymnastics too. I used to love gymnastics when I was younger. I used to love gymnastics. I thought I was going to be a gymnast. Uh, that's what I was trying for. You so, remember what year and what grade that was? Yeah. Um, I was in, you could say, about super young. I was uh, I was I was about um Say about the fourth, fifth grade, okay. fourth or fifth grade when I was I was tumbling already, tumbling. Fourth or fifth grade. Um, All right. The year. Uh, don't we, we, no, no, don't no worries. Fourth or fifth grade, people. Fourth we could we could put grade. that together. You were born in sixty two. Mm-hmm. No, no worries. 63. So. I was born in sixty three. Born in sixty three. Mm-hmm. All right. So what what dances were happening? you know, um, around you, you know, what were people doing, you know? There was, well, at that time, they was doing like the freak, the the spank, the, the, a little bit of the hustle. Right. That's what I remember. I, I could drop back, I could, I could remember the hustle and people, um, that's, that's all I could remember. Okay. Really the hustle and, and, and the freak and the spank, that's all I could remember from back then. Right. It was like up dances, you know, and that came like a little bit after break dancing because I don't really remember what what dance we was doing up top. Like, okay, because I was just wilding out to the music, to the like like they used to think I was I was crazy. My family used to be thinking I was crazy because I was crazy energetic. That's what it was. So, um, in in gymnastics they got this horse thing. So it all came about. The German thing and the horse thing put together. Slowly, I started doing swipes and going like this. Slowly, I started doing swipes and doing like this. And it all came it came together. That's how breakdance came about. All right. Can you believe that? In school, every time we used to hear music or whatever, blah, 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 I used to go down and go, and go bugging out. And they, all the kids used to be thinking I was bugged out too. All right. My family too. They used to think I was crazy. But they loved it. Cause they used to go right with the music, and the thing was that, um, um, who heard this kid called Hollywood? I don't know if you ever heard of Hollywood. Used to live right across the street from me. Okay, where at? You know, um, well, at that time I used to live towards um, towards Cedric, towards Cedric, right? But once I moved to Cedric, I moved towards Equidog, Bronx Community College, right across the street from Bronx Community College. That's where Hollywood was at. He used to rock. Wow. Right and and um, that's where it all really blew up at. You talking about rock? He used to rock like rock dance. Yeah, like, like up rocking, like, uh, up rocking and swiping, doing all this. Talking about the places where you were breaking and the people mm-hmm. you were breaking. It wasn't really called right. breaking then. It was. Right. Just, I was just like like trying to, you know, I was just. You could say while and out in a sense. Well, not while and out. I was, I was dancing to music, but trying to do. Uh, what people thought I was just going crazy, but 
the young kids liked it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just going down. I was doing gymnastics. I was really doing gymnastics on the floor because we used to take up gymnastics in school, a lot of us. So when they see me doing, well, that horse shit on the floor, they thought I was doing the horse thing on the floor, but I was doing it to the music. But with, with the German thing at the same time, I'm doing the German thing at the same time because I used to do it also without my hands. Do, 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 the German thing. Then I do the swipe, do, 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 and then I would like, think I was doing the horse thing on, on the floor. Where were you like, doing these at? In, in the schoolyard. In the schoolyard? In the schoolyard. Fourth, fifth grade? Yeah, in the schoolyard, right? And then all of a sudden, right, um, I started doing it uh, um, in our block, right? In our block, we would say in um, Vail Street, um, um, That's Hunts Point. Bronx River. Got it. Yeah, Bronx River, right? Um, then I moved to Yankee Stadium. In Yankee Stadium, I started doing it towards Yankee Stadium, right? They loved it over there. At that time, I was like in, in, in the sixth, seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? They, the kids liked it over there too. They started following me too. They started going, going at it. But it started blowing up more on the south side. You know what I'm saying? Because the south side, that's where they started rocking music. That's where um, Van Bott and Cool Herc and all them started rocking with the music. Remember, we we. We started the music out that way. There wasn't no music really DJing and all that on this side. Flashing them wasn't even really out yet. You know, remember it was Cool Herc, Hollywood in them. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 Africa Bambada with the, with the Zulu King before he came, he was a black spade. He came Zulu King and then Zulu Nation. I remember all of that. I was there. I was there when that happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I was on that side. But my mom went to Yankee Stadium side. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm in the, in the Yankee Stadium, so I, I'm dancing and all that. So these kids is watching me. Remember, I'm young, I'm little, so they watching me. So they, 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 they loving it too. But what happened? I started doing gymnastics because I love the gymnastics more than than dancing because I, I wanted to be a gymnast, right? And we are in the park, um, and I started um doing back handspring, back handspring, back handspring. And I ran right into a tree. Got the scarf from right here to right here. Got the, still got the scarf. Yeah, right? I see it. Can right. I zoom in? Let yeah. people yeah, know. You zoom in. Right? Still got the scar. And this was, this was when I was young. I was a baby. You know what I'm saying? Right. You no, know, I was like like nine years old the most. Nine years old the most. Ten. Right? And lost my memory. I lost my memory. I Everything, everything. I didn't even know who I was. I didn't even know. My mom started to, to gonna have to send me to a to a to a hospital. I was I was gone. I'm saying I I didn't even know who I was. My schooling was messed up. That's why I'm. That's why to this right now. It's, I think that's what's causing me to like sometimes forget things. Sure. Like I got short term memory loss. I even see a doctor for it. Short term memory loss. Right. Um. So. I even stopped stopped dancing. I, I was I was doing like the little freaks and all that in spank and all all the up trends that came from Soul Train. A lot of the dances right. came from Soul Train. Okay. Okay. So whatever dance was popular in Soul Train, that's what we was following back then. And that was a big influence. Right? Yeah, that was a big influence because Soul Train I think came out in '72 and whatever whatever influence was coming out in Soul Train, we would follow it and I would follow that shit, follow it too. You know what I'm saying? So now I moved to the west side of the Bronx. Right now, from Yankee Stadium, we go to to Burnside. That's where I, that's where the CC crew started because that's where I met Shorty and them. Right. So um, that's where I met um, Shorty. I met JoJo. I met all these other. What year was this? Uh, what this grade was, you were in? I was I was in junior high school then. Okay. I was in junior high school. You could say I was in like. What ninth, not eighth, ninth grade at that time, okay. not tenth grade. That was before high school, right? So that's why I'm a shorty in them. So it was already had blew up. So now shorty started dancing, and he started like trying to like teach me, like trying to show me, and I'm like, I, I like, but I know this. I'm telling, I'm telling them, but I, in my mind, I know this. I know this. You know what I'm saying? But we got together. We got together and we started inventing 
you know, moves together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to tell him, yo, listen, I, I, you know, I did this before, but he, he couldn't understand what I was trying to tell him because he, he didn't know that I come from the South side. Right. You know what I'm saying? He never, he never knew that I came from the South side. He never, but me, him was like basically the one that created everything on this side. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody really know my history from, from the beginning, from the foundation. No, the only one that really know the, my foundation is, 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 is the only one that really, really know my foundation that I tell you I'm the first person that I've seen dance is Cool Herc. Cool Herc. He said it. The only the real the one that's ever seen first break dance because he was young and I was young and we, we grew up we grew up together. Cool Herc, he said it in, a, in an interview in 1982, 81. They told him, Who's the first B boy you ever seen? He said, Oh, um, um this the sport we kid named Spider. He called me Spider. Instead of spy, he called me spider, which is all good. You know what I'm saying? But I know he, I know who he meant, because he said the Spanish kid that I know he used to live right across the street from me. Uh, his name is Spider. He called me Spider. Right. You no, know, I remember it was in a, a 1981 Right On magazine or some shit like that. It came out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find that shit too. Okay. You know, so um, he could verify that he. I'm the first he ever seen go on the floor bugging out. He, he thought I was bugging out too. Um, um, yeah, so um, anyway, so I came to the west side, right? So now I started dancing with Shorty and then we created, because we created a crew. Me and him, it was really me and him. Me and him, me and him, we got together. And this we was started, eighth, ninth grade, you created the Crazy yeah, Commandos. Yeah, yeah. It was just me and him, right? We started dancing against everybody. It was just me and him partners. We started dancing against everybody. We started taking out everybody, everybody. Everybody that swear they knew how to dance. We just, because me and him got together, we started inventing routines. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just dancing one on, like on the floor, but we just started inventing routines together. I would throw with, gym, with, with gymnastics in it. We would dance, he'd come out, throw him up in the air, he'd flip, he'd throw me up in there. We'd do all type of shit together. We'd do all kinds of shit with gymnastics in it. You know what I'm saying? So we got to the point where we were going around the whole area, battling everybody. Everybody that we battled, we would beat easily, easily. Because I was super nice. He was nice. You know what I'm saying? I was super nice, and he was nice. You know what I'm saying? And he was super nice, too. But um, um, that's when we danced against JoJo. We danced against um, the Zulu Kings because they brought them from, from the south side. Um batching them from the TVB came to dance against us. We beat them. We danced against the Zulu Kings. We beat them. Just me and Shorty. Just, just me and you Shorty. and Shorty were the crazy yeah. commandos. Yeah, just me and Shorty. But as we was beating them, they was joining us. That's how our crew got bigger oh, on, right. our, on our side. You know what I'm saying? All this that uh, that Jojo said that they, they danced against us, that we was a tie <laughs> with them. There was never no tie. There, there was never no tie. So all that bullshit about that, they said that we came a tie with it. That's that's false. Okay. We beat everybody. We beat everybody. Right. You know all that, all that that I, that Shorty was telling me that he heard an interview that JoJo and all these dudes were saying that they danced against us and it was a tie. That's a lie. All right. That's a lie. Now you, you see know? Shorty. You know his name? Yeah, Nelson Luyando. Nelson Luyando. That's that's my boy. That's God. my boy. that was my group. That was my partner. My my. My second partner was real, real. My partner for real, because Shorty left. He went, he went, he left to Texas somewhere, Illinois somewhere, right? Was Mongo. Mongo was right, was my real partner, like after Shorty, because Shorty, I, once we, we started dancing, we we blew it up on that side. What was Mongo's name? Um, if you remember. Um, I don't really remember his real, real, real name, but um, I'll it. find it for you. No, no worries. Yeah, but Mongo Rock, we used to call him Mongo Rock. That's my boy. I get it for you because I talk to him every day down here. Um, All right. Um, he's he's he was he was with me every day. He used to dance against me every day, trying to beat me every day. People like Track Two. I know you heard about Track Two. Right. Um, he was from Star Child of Rock. We beat them too. We beat we beat we beat we beat all of them. Me. I'll tell you, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was incredible, bro. I was, I was, I was the truth. They couldn't, all of that, that they beat me and all that, that's, 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 that's false. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? 
they actually had to cheat me to beat me one time, but I keep, I leave it alone. But, you know, they t actually had to cheat me to beat me. And to this day, they're still talking about me. I never even said nothing. They, you know, because I didn't even pay that no mind. They're still talking about it today. Oh, that they put names on, the, on their trophies and all that. They're still talking about it. I never even said nothing about it. One, 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 one contest that we had up on in, in Cortona, I think, against... Rockwell, some crew called Rockwell. They said that this Rockwell dude. Rockwell Association. Yeah, they said that this dude beat me, but it was me dancing against the whole crew. How they gonna beat me? I'm dancing against the whole crew. Damn me! It was me and three others. Me and three others against like twenty of them. All right. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna definitely talk about patent yeah. battles now. Mm -hmm. The CC crew. What years did they exist? Seventy-five to okay, seventy-nine. Okay, you can say from CC crew assisted the the you can say from seventy-five all the way to eighty. Got it. Got it. Seventy-nine to be exact, but eighty was the it was when I broke off with with, with Shorty. Shorty left. Shorty left in seventy-nine. Got it. And then you have Mongo Rock was your partner then. Yeah, Mongo Rock. And who were the other names of, of the CC crew members during this life? It was it was me. It was Shorty. It was Trace Two. It was Wizard Wiz. It was Jojo. It was um Mongo. It was um Twinkle Toes. It was um, Spinner Rock. That's when you said Spinner. I wanted to see what Spinner was. It was right. Spinner Rock. It was um, Mike Mikey D, right? Um, who's the other one? Uh, it was about like like it was about ten of us. It was, it was about ten of us. Right. You know, that's it. That was, I named you nine. There was about ten, eleven of us. That was the most. Wait, that's that's that's, mm -hmm. that's big. Mm -hmm. Now, can you talk to me when, when, when you're dancing, right, and and you're battling? What are you know? What are the moves you know that you remember? You know, can you explain to us what moves you were known for, what you innovated and you brought to the breaking game? Yeah, the whole shit. Talk, tell me. Let's let's walk me through some of them. Mm -hmm. Like like okay, I was doing shit like um. Let's say the top rock, the way they call the top rock, right? right? Going down, swipe, break, spinning like this, uh, the whole spin, right? Right, the top rock, right? Because they named it, they named it things that I don't even know. They call it six step, five step, four step. I don't even know nothing about that. They say I'm known for this, I'm known for that. I don't even know the name of the stuff, right? The top rock, call it. I call it the top rock. I'm dancing on the top, right? going, going down, right? A swipe, spinning all the way around like this, right? Boom, going into a freeze. Boom, they got they going into a freeze. Oh, a, a swipe, going spinning around like this, going into a spin, right? From a spin into a freeze, right? Or from a, or from a spin into into a, to a backspin into a backspin into a headspin, right? What I what I, I did created that nobody even 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 acknowledged was that I used to top rock, right? And I do a back swipe in the air. See how you do a front swipe? I used to do a back swipe in the air. Nobody even never even acknowledged that. To this day, they don't even talk about it. They don't. They didn't even realize it. I did a back swipe in the air, right, and come back, come spinning backwards, the opposite way. Some shit that nobody. To this day, I never have to see nobody done. Instead of coming doing a swipe this way. I used to do a swipe backwards, right? And spin the opposite way, right? And come into a half, like, sort of like a head spin in a half and come into a freeze. I never seen nobody done it, done it yet. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, um, or instead, of, instead of like do a top rock, right? Instead of doing a, a swipe and going down, I would spin like this and go down and start dancing. You know what I'm saying? I seen a few dancers do that, you know. I say because a lot of dancers nowadays they, they dance, they do their little swipe, and then they go down and do their rotation, right? Right. That's how they do it, right? I used to top rock, spin, and then then start dancing, right? From from 
from from that spin that I'm talking about that you do a swipe and you you rotate and do the back spin right they don't they don't got the windmill from you know what I'm saying right that's where they got the windmill from you know that came from the back spin got it all right you know what I'm saying the freeze that you see me in on the poster on the on the on that documentary they got me on the documentary called the freshest kid something that I need um gain permission for um that that freeze from that freeze, they done made so many other freeze. From my backspin, from my backspin, they done came with a whole bunch of other, other moves. From my, from my, from my, from my rotation, I call it a rotation because it's a, it's a swipe and then a rotation all the way around. They call it a six step. They invented a six step. For me, it was just a swipe and a whole rotation spin all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. I used to go all the way around, then come all the way back around like this, both ways. From there, I could even spin. Or spin, do a freeze, or spin. I, I even I even did a spin and, and, and this and land sideways like this, with both feet sideways. You know what I'm saying? I used to do a lot of I used to do a lot of acrobatic move at that time. I was ahead, I was ahead of like a lot of people. Nowadays, the the freezes that they do are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? They 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 up to date, which is you know I love it and I you know for me I I applaud it. I love it. They 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 definitely definitely. Up the game, the young dudes, especially the Chinese dudes and the dudes from out of Germany, they do, they, they definitely up there. And like what I said about Georgia, about being them all that, Georgia's my man. Me and him, like like you know, I don't want them to think I'm talking wrong about them. I'm just trying to correct what 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 they said wrong back then. Right. But they said that that um the they take them they battle us and shorty even even tbb and all of them they said that they battled us and shorty that we came out tied. they never tied us we always we beat them we beat them i just want them i just want to clear the record i don't want them to think that i'm saying anything negative about them right. or whatever but those are my peoples we got it those was my peoples you know what i'm saying because they after that they came they came to us so it was like we was family and we still family all right i don't got even even legs even the crazy legs like like they said that he did some bad things or this or that. I don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? That's his problem. I don't care. As you still my people, so like like I embrace all of them because they they like like to me they like they like my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I tell you I'm the founder of the shit, right? Because from my seed everybody comes, right? They like my kids, so I can't I can't talk negative about them. You know what I'm saying? Right. I embrace all of them. I embrace all of them. You know, and they know it. The thing about it is their legs, Jojo, all of them know it. They know that they, 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 I'm definitely, definitely the one. You know what right. I'm saying? And they can't deny it. They, they'll tell you, now that I'm home now, they definitely will tell you this. You know what I mean? They can't deny it. Right, right baby, now that, I'm, now that I'm here, they can't deny none of this. They, or, or front or say, oh, they, oh, we... He lying or he did he did this no no I'm here now 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 we go we sit down and, and in front of their face I tell you yeah who created this who did this who did that who, who that in front of me say it now cool and let's go let's start from from the top and maybe you know we'll repeat a little what was the first crew the CC crew back and tell me who they were and, and their members by we were talking about the first battle the CC crew and who they went up against and who were the members? Okay, the, um, I think our first battle was against the Mexican crew. We used to have a Mexican crew with this, with this Tom boy girl named Wanda. I think she was a dyke or something, um, a lesbian or something. You know, um, they're not a lesbian, uh, 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 especially the boy. So, um, how they battle? With um the CC crew, right? Um we that well going against each other like like on the floor. They go down, we go down, they go down, we go down, they go down, we go down, but we we, we were much better than them. And Do you remember anyone other than Wanda from the Mexican crew? Um I don't remember the name. We wasn't getting along with them, so we wasn't too friendly with them. All right. You know, they was like they was like more enemies. Like they, they was more enemies. Like they like they went to the old fight. You know. 
How'd you, how'd you battle them? Did you go to them? Did they come to you? Well, Did you meet in the club? like three blocks down. Where at? This is in Burnside. This is in Burnside. This is like 1976, 75. Um, um, east towards Burnside, New Shorty and Trace. Those are three. And Wizard Day. We was battling against the whole crew. They had about a good 10 people. You know, and um, um, we was more a little bit more advanced because we used to always be practicing in the hallway. I used to have these practicing, you know, I used to have them, I used to have me short and these folks be practicing the whole real old stuff, old stuff, make, trying to make a new, new, new routine, new moves. So, we used to live down the block, like, we used to live more towards, towards Mexican crew than. Than us, like two blocks down. Okay, we we lived on uh, Echo Duck, right? Then Harrison, then Grant, then Dunn. They just be like three blocks down. Like that's the whole Mexican crew area. Right. They used to have their little crew over here. We used to have our little crew up here. So we danced against uh, on Twinkle Toes and them over here, and they they joined us. There was like two or three dancers over here that they knew how to dance. Right. I call them over here. Dance on his toes and all that, you know. Right. Used to dance on his toes, then go down and all that. Right. So, um, he joined us. So he was part of our crew too. Um, his little brother danced too. He joined us. So our crew started expanding as we as 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 we danced against them and beat them. They joined us. There was this other kid called Bachhead. I I, I forgot his name. We used to call him Bachhead too. He was nice. He joined us. You know. It was me and Shorty beating everybody around the whole area that thought they knew how to dance or try to dance and we beat them, they join us and then we have them practicing with us and before you know we're going down to see the park where so Cool Herc used to be rocking. So um Cool Herc and um some other DJs used to be rocking down there and see the park. This is like the end of, of Burnside, um talk, um River Park Towers. Okay, yeah. River Park Towers. They, they, they call it Cedar Park. That was Cedar Park. They used to rock every weekend on the weekend. It's like a dark park. We used to be going down there dance, going down there dance. Before you know it, they had a whole bunch of people dancing. We started to dance in there, and before you know it, they had kids dancing. You know? So, um, we started dancing against them. And, um, the Mexican crew used to go down there too. We used to against them. A lot of our dancers always used to turn around and fight too. We used to have to fight too. Wow. You know, so okay. we ended up fighting and having to leave after that. So we ended up beating them and they get mad and try to jump us and things like that. So we would take off. All right. You know, you know, that's this dude, right, from the south side. His name is C.C. God or something. I remember him. We used to school together. He got on, he got on, on this. Video talking about who's the one that created. I know, I know, I know exactly who it is. This black dude. He said that he created break dance, and he did not create break dance because in '71, when I was when we were in school together, he got it from me. I know exactly who he's talking about now. He got it. He's something, and I remember who he is now. That dude did not invent me. He got. He, I know exactly who he is, and the dude did not invent me. He got the shit from me. You know so. Yeah. Stop lying. Stop lying. These dudes need to stop lying. That's what they need to stop lying. I came out of jail, right? I'm doing 20 years, right? I, I was locked up for a long time, right? That's why nobody knew my history. I never said nothing about it. Um, I'm here to clear facts. I'm here to tell everybody's lies. They need to stop lying. I'm here to expose all of the liars, too, all right? So, um, he needs to stop lying. Um, he got it from me. Back in 71 when we was kids, I remember him and I remember Miguel, the little other, other, other dude that he used to be with. They all, they both got it from me. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, but back to the, to the, um, the battles. To the battles. Um, we danced against the sea crew. There was a sea crew called the Casablanca crew. We danced against the KC crew. We danced against, um, the nine crew before they came out, um, they came out 
the star needs to pick up kids. Um, we danced against the Zulu Kings. We beat them. We danced against. Um, Do you remember who in the Zulu Kings you battled? Um, we that we actually against the Queen. We actually against one of the twins. One of the twins gave me gave me a gave me a challenge. He was the only one that really ever gave me the legendary twins that we're yeah. talking about now. Yeah, Kevin and Keith. Yeah, Kevin and Keith. Only one of them gave me competition. Only one of them was super good. He's the only one that ever gave me competition. The only one that gave props to. The only one that ever gave me competition. This was back in seventy. What was it? That they done him. I think it was seventy six or seventy six. They done him. They brought him and his brother TDB back. I know you heard it back. Yeah. TDB brought him, brought him and his brother to battle me and Shorty. And they betted money. They betted money on the sidelines. Um, this sick kid, this fat kid named Richie had a bet with Batch that they were going to beat me and Shorty. And we beat them. Got it. And the only, he's the only one that ever gave me competition. The only one. I'll give him props, but he came to Shorty. Got it. Now, you talked about track two earlier. Track two, I beat him too. Yeah, you, you yeah. talked to us about any any battles with Star mm -hmm. Child Rock and, yeah. and who was there? Beat him. He came. He came. I, he's my boy too. Don't take the wrong track. Uh, um, but I'm here to expose the truth. Beat him. He came back to got me to help him battle TBD. He beat. I beat TBD. And before you know it, see, I'm um I got close to back and I was running with TBD. It was like that. You know, but um, I danced against track and 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 and, 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 and his whole crew too. I beat both of them. I beat him and his whole crew. And, and you you had mentioned earlier the Rockwell Association. Yes. Can you talk to us about the memory of battling them and who in Rockwell, if you remember? Well, um, Rockwell. Well, that's the crew that um supposedly beat me out of battle. The only crew that's supposed to be me out of battle was me and three others against uh, like 20 of them, honestly. And they said that I lost, right? Um, to this day, they're still talking about they, um, that they beat me, but supposedly they cheated because they had the um, they had their names on the trophies and all that other shit, you know. That's what that's what that's what the word is. Trophy. So this was an organized battle yeah, at organized an event. Battle, Where at? Event in they in they in they in they area, right there in St. Mary's in St. Mary's Church, where they from. You know, so supposedly they, they, they threw a jam and the thing about what a lot of people don't know is that they try to get me uh, they try to get me um how you say they try to get me kidnapped that night. They think they slick. I never said nothing, but that night they tried to get me kidnapped by the Tingling, you know. But it, it, it backfired because Patty, one of the Tingling girls, was on my shit, and she helped me. You know what I'm saying? That night I ain't supposed to make it to that to that to that to that battle. You know what I'm saying? I want number. This is in Katona. We we living now towards uh, on Grand Concourse on the opposite side, way on the opposite side. Um uh, um. You from here in the Bronx, right? I'm the Lower East Side, but I'm from Hunts Point now. Right. Okay, Hunts Point. Years. Okay, so say Hunts Point, right? Say Grand Concourse. See the difference how yeah. far it is? Yeah. I'm from Grand Concourse, you're in Hunts Point. We coming from, from Grand Concourse to Hunts Point to dance. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, they got they got their little church there already we, we set up and all that. All right, cool. So it's me, I think it was Jojo and uh, like two others, right? Against like Honestly, there's like 30 of them, like 20, 30 of them, left, right? I beat all of them. Then they said that I lost to one of them, and they and, 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 and supposedly they, they won. Right, right. You know, how the hell are you ever going to lose? When I beat all 30 of them, they not lost to one of them. You know what I'm saying? So, and then they turn around, and somebody of, of their own crew exposed that the trophies had. Rockwell Association on the tr on the on the track on the on the, on the trophy. Their own people came and said that they got the trophies had Rockwell Association. I ain't say that. How the hell I know that? How the hell we know about that? Their own people started talking about yo. Why you cheat them? Why you do this? Why you do that? The trophy had Rockwell Association on it. So how did it get exposed? How did you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I took the loss. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because in my heart, I beat. I, even if I even if I lost to one person, I'd be twenty nine of y'all. Right. 
you know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't losing. No, even though I didn't lose, I didn't lose. They said that supposedly I did one of my moves and I messed up. Bro, I got a thousand moves. How the hell I'm the man with a thousand moves? How the hell I'm gonna mess up one move? You know what I'm saying? If I mess up one move, you won't even know because I go right into the other one. That's how nice I used to be. But I would, I would dance, right? Plenty of times I don't mess up the move. But I'm dancing. If I do, a, say I do a freeze and I mess up, I go right into another one. Right into, and I just do another one. If I mess up on that one, I go right into another one. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as messing up. I was, I didn't believe in messing up. You know what I'm saying? I, I had too many, too many moves to just mess up one move. So all that that day, I messed up one move. I did a head spin and I moved. And bullshit. They, they just, they just was inventing and but they said they beat me so. Enjoy your picture, brother. All right. Now, your dancing has to be motivated by some some jams, right? Which were your, well, b-boy anthems, right? You know, b-boy um, anthems. Um, dance to the drum beat. Um, um, Apache, Bongo Rock. Um, just begun. It just begun. It just begun. But Apache was it. Bongo Rock. That was, that's the that's the that's the ultimate. Got it, got it. Got, hey, um, can you talk to me about any of the clubs that you guys hit? Clubs, community center, churches, any of the venues where you guys battled at? I hit a lot of clubs. Um, 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 uh, there used to be a, a, a club in right down here on the Javon called Starlight. The star, uh, the starlight. They used to be one in, in the 170th. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, popular, real popular. In the 170th in between Jerome and I forgot the name of that troop. It's my memory is shot, but it used to be super popular. Um, we used to go to moms and pops on the regular. That was super known, moms and pops. But basically, when we were dancing, there was too many clubs. We was out in, in the in the park, in the parks. It was more parks, like got it. It was like more parks, three yard parks, and, and um, and um, house parties. You know, when we started going out in the club, it was like once we just got settled, like really, really in. That's when we like basically in the eighties. You know, mm -hmm. I was kind of gone in the eighties. Right. You know, like beginning of the eighties, I like kind of disappeared. Like, Right. But I hit a few clubs. I hit um, um I hit the Roxy. The Roxy is super known for I did a couple of things for the Roxy. Um I did um Peppermint Lounge. The Peppermint Lounge is super known. I I quit the Peppermint Lounge. Um, um what else? Um kind of the club it was super known too. Um but then we hit a couple of clubs, we hit a, a few clubs, a few right. clubs. And, and Les took me out with him for a few clubs too that they paid me too. I I rode with Les for, for you like four or five clubs in, in 82. Got 82, it. I rode with Les for a few clubs that they paid me for like about four or five clubs that I did some routines with him too. Like about four or five clubs I went with him. That's why I know that Lady Roxy that you're talking about. From, right. I mean, from, that Lady Blue from Roxy. Little Lady Blue? Yeah, that's why I know her from because she was paying us to dance at that time. All right. You know? Cool, well, Roxy's cool. was it. Roxy's was, was it, huh? Roxy was basically the, the foundation of, 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 of the straight dance. When was the first time you, you heard the term B-boy? And what did B-boy mean? What did that stand for? The first time, first year, first time you ever heard that? First time I heard it? can't even recall it. Like in, in the mid-80s. Got it. All right. Mid eighties, I heard it like in eighty eighty five. They just started calling great boys. They started calling them great boys. Great, like gotcha, gotcha. That's what they started calling great boys, great boys. Now, at the beginning, you said there was no name to the dance, right? No, when was the first time you heard it called breaking? Was that the first term you heard for the dance? Yeah, breaking, breaking, exactly. Just, that was that was it. They, they named it. That's what they named it, break dancing. Right. You know, right. So that's what it stood. There was no other name after that. It was just then it was top rock and, and going down. We used to just call it going down. Going down? 
don't know. That's real. For us, it was like going down. Like that was it. Got it. That's what we used to call it. At our, at our time, back in, in, in the seventies, we were like, "Yo, your turn, go down." Like that. I, I was I was interviewing a b boy uh, a, a few weeks back, mm -hmm. and he was remembering me, and he remembered a routine that you did that maybe you could talk about called the camel rock or the camel toe routine. The camel. Camel, as in like a camel. humpback camel. Camel. Camera rock. Camel. That's what it was called. Yeah. Can you talk camel. to us about that routine? Yeah, it was me and Shorty and things like that. It was like um. There was, cam there was a camel too, but camera was more known because um, um, I would dance, right? When I finished, I roll, I roll, he, he dives over me, right? He started dancing. I spin, when I spin, I get out, I get out like one knee, right? He started dancing, he started spinning, spinning, spinning. He comes through me, he put his feet. Man, that's the shoe shine, my bad. That's all right. Hey, the shoe yeah. shine though. My we bad. got the, we, the, the camera was. I'm dancing, right? I do, I do, I do spin, right? I spin, when I spin, I start coming up for it, like this, filming motherfuckers, I was the camera. I'd like come up, like, say I'm, I'm dancing, after I do a back spin, right? I do a back spin, once I do a back spin, I, I get on my, um, like, towards my back, coming up like this, upwards, upwards, towards, up, up, like, like I'm coming, like on my feet, but I'm, I'm not all the way up. Up like this and come back down. Up my feet, so yeah, come back down like 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 seesaw. But I'm going like this. I'm filming it. It's supposed the camera. Like this. It's going like this. I'll be filming it. <laughs> I said, I used to make up a lot of crazy shit. Like that shit that I just told you. I would dive, so he would dive, then I would spin. I get on one knee, he'll come, he dance, he'll spin, boom, he'll put his feet, he put, I, I, I get on my, on like one knee on the floor like this, he'll put his feet on there, I, I front like I'm two shining, I slap him, he spins that way, I spin that way, he goes start down, he goes 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 down, now, there, there were, you know, a lot of memorable battles that the world knows about, you know, like the Lincoln Center battle. Were you there at the Lincoln Center battle? Mm, no. All right. Got you, got you. Yeah, I was rock steady. All right. Rock steady was at the Lincoln Center battle. They danced, they danced against, um, 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 what's that, um. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I was just hoping that other crews had attended, watched. Been there, you nah, know, but it yeah. was just, it was mostly yeah. just those two yeah, crews battles. That was the late 80s. Yeah. I was locked up. Got was it. Locked up. You, you ever remember battling JoJo? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me the first time you battled JoJo and, you it know, me about that story. Against, yeah, it was me and him against him and his little brother. Beat him. Gotcha, gotcha. And you beat him, you know, like, what you know, all right. Were, were you? Do you? Um. Did you ever collaborate with any DJs? You know, or talk to me about any relationships you had with DJs back in the day? Yeah, I, I knew. Um. Um. Before before he became an MC, I um, used to um. Um. Cold Crush. Um, that's his brother name. Uh, I knew Cool Herc. Cool Herc was the main, the main DJ. He was Van Bada, like I told you. He was Van Bada before I think he passed away, right? He passed away? No. Him, no? no. Unless I false information was on him. Um, um, anyway, I know Cool Herc so. since he was little. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's like the first DJ. You know what I mean? I'm the first DJ. He's the first DJ. You believe that? You used to live right next to each other. Wow. That's to show you where yeah. you come from. The stomping grounds. We were founders of everything. Wow. And that's the that's that's the crazy part. That you right across the street from it. He loves his book. I hate him. Oh, well, I love him too, but I don't like dogs no more. No. I like cats. Alright. Alright. And uh <laughs> did you ever get down or perform with you know at any events, you know, can you talk to us about 
you know, any event that you ever performed at. Yeah. You know, you said you, you, you know, uh, yeah. Little Lady Blue at Roxy paid yeah. for some events. Yeah, I, I performed in the, in the Peppermint Lounge, like I told you. I performed in the Roxy, like I told you. I performed in, um, this place called Sparkle or something like that. All Sparkle. Right. Spot. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 2024 Paris Summer Olympics, you know, mm -hmm. a big moment for b-boys and breakers around the world, especially you know, the founders, you know, mm -hmm. here in the Bronx and New York City, you know, you want to talk about what making it to the Olympics means to you and your thoughts? Man, that is, that is so special. That is, oh my God, that's like, like, that's, that's, that's beautiful. I look at it like something major. I mean, that's something that came like, that's like, that's, that's, you could say that's an opportunity for, for, Everyone, or or for people in the ghetto, for the people, for the, for the poor, for everyone, to, for them to open their eyes and they could they could see that you know the younger generation, I mean, you know, that they have a chance to to really make it out there, you know, from you know from dancing, you know, what I'm saying like you really have a chance because like you see how far it went. It went from from the street to the Olympics. This is something major, like like. We have we have to embrace we have to embrace what we have. It's, it's, this dance is special. This dance is unique. This dance is like 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 it's something that came from 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 from, from, from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? It's like like it's it's helping it's helping open eyes. It's helping it's helping people branch out in a sense like to other countries you have japan you have you have germany you have china you have all other all other countries dancing to our dance that came from the bronx you know what i'm saying so just to show you that how far i done reach look now it's in the olympics to show you that that we can make it you know what i'm saying we can make it you well everyone all the young all the young people anyway I have supposed to have been a judge. Okay. You know? I have supposed to have been a judge. I have supposed to have been a judge. I don't know if anyone know about it. Uh, under law, I have some people in California that supposed to have, but they never mentioned it because I never wanted to mention. I supposed to have been a judge, but I couldn't make it because, you know, because of um, my pro. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was re restricted from going, so. But hopefully next time around, uh, if, if there's another chance, because I heard they might not have it again. But we're gonna try to push for it, for it to happen. But um, next Olympics, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna try my best for it, for, for they could have another competition. But um, I'm gonna make sure that I, I'm I'll be there. You know. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push all my resources. I'm gonna push everything I can to to make sure that we we have a chance to to be seen again and be heard and be felt because it was felt because the streets felt it like like you should have seen how how the people that was watching the television was oh my god you're break dancing on TV. I was sitting down hearing people in in in, in, in hotels and shelters and. In, 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 in all the places, like oh my God, look, they got break dancing on TV. They don't know what they they created. They gave us more. They gave us more vision. They gave us more enlightenment. We need to take. We need to take. Uh, you know, take this and and use it and build on it. That's what I was trying to tell all the brothers on on on, on the on the website the other day. I was texting with, with with Glide and all these that you just mentioned that um. That we need to really get together because they're all writing each other and all that. I said, listen, y'all writing each other and all this. What y'all need to do is really get together as a crew on this web thing, on these on these phones, and really just form a crew. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to start a whole new crew. I'm trying to trying to start a crew on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like that, we could if we could do that. We could branch out. We and they talking about they might not have a break in the next Olympics. I already heard about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. We could start now. We could start a crew. We could start endorsing it. We could start. We could make sure that it happens because that that's that helped. You know what I'm saying? 
you have a lot of kids now and like dancing all over the world. You know what I'm saying? They seen that they loved it. You know, it kind of flopped a little bit, but it's because they did it kind of wrong. You know what I'm saying? I looked at it the way they did it, the judges and all that. Mm, you know, it needs it needs a little help. You know what I'm saying? The way I look at it, it needs a little help. But um, it was definitely felt, and it, we're gonna, and it's definitely gonna be heard from us. You know what I'm saying that's the way I look at it. But it was definitely great, and I loved it. And I, and I um, embrace it. And like I said, um, I'm all for it. Is, is there anything you want to speak about? Breaking hip hop, b boying that I haven't asked you that you like to talk about? Yeah. Um, you know, like all the brothers that I mentioned, like Shorty and all them before from the first video, you know, I apologize about that. It was that at that time, I, my mind was gone somewhere else, like on my first video. that I didn't even know they were going to do that documentary. Like Shorty. The Freshest like, Kids? Yeah, The Freshest Kids, right. Uh, um, they had interviewed me like that, and it was a quick interview. I didn't even know they were going to put it on a documentary, make a movie out of it or right. whatever, because out of that little piece, they put it in a lot of a lot of other pieces right you know and you know some of them told me yo why you ain't mention me like my, my partner shorty you know he said i'm not mad or not but you don't even mention me you know, it wasn't that i didn't i didn't mean it in that sense you know like right. you know one i was on the run two is they called me off guard three is i didn't even wasn't even expecting it. i just did it one two three boom and i was gone but you know i apologize for that and the people that 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 I did forget, you know, you know, I do apologize, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's a lot of people that, that should have, I should have mentioned, like, Wizard Wiz, Trace, um, 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 Mongo, 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 like right now, Mongo ain't even being, um, how you say it, um, exposed. Mongo Recognize. was a major part of this. Mongo right. was super nice. Mongo was, I'm telling you, Mongo was like, Mango for me came in, in second uh, of the best of the best. Mango, Mango was super nice. A lot of people don't. Everybody used to say, "Yo, Mango better than you." When, when did Mango start dancing? In uh, you could say seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Okay. Started late. He started late. I remember. He came in behind short. Yeah, he came in behind Shorty. Yeah, he came in behind Shorty. But he used to dance against me every day, so that made him good. Cause he used to always that he did it on. I think he did it on purpose. Right. right. Cause he used to be with me every day, so every day he used to battle me. Every day, every day, trying to beat me, trying to beat me. But he's slick. What he was doing was just trying to copy my shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did. To like, excuse my language, but what he did was trying to learn from me at the same time. Which you know I don't blame. That was he was my partner. Trace was also Trace was also my partner too, but not not as not, not like Mango. Mango was like he was like basically my real partner. Yeah. Besides the, the the foundation with me and Shorty, you know what I'm saying? But what Shorty don't know with this that I come way before that. You know the only thing that my memory was you know I was gone. Yeah. You know I didn't even know about break dancing when I after I got I went after I got my hers my head you know my my injury and all that. You know, I didn't even know who I was when I moved to Burnside. I didn't even know my mom's. I told you, we're gonna, we're gonna a lot of memory me. problems back after yeah. that incident. I'm still, I'm, to this day, I'm still having a little memory problem. But back then, I lost my memory completely. Wow. Imagine, I, um, my schooling and everything was messed up. Wow. You know, I didn't even know who I was. Imagine, I was doing gymnastics, and I went, I smacked right into a tree. I'm doing, 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 you, know, you know how you do backflips, right? Yeah. I went, bam, 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 bam. Boom! I hit a tree. When I hit the tree, I hit it like this and fell down backwards. Like, I went right into a tree. Boom! Like, you know how you go you flip it like this. I went boom! Right into a tree. Boom! I thought it broke my neck. Wow. Like that. I'm glad I didn't break my neck. Anyway, so memory loss. I was gone. For, I was gone for like a good, honestly, for about a good, they say for about a good year. I was gone for almost a year until I started slowly, slowly, slowly coming back, slowly coming back. That's when my mom moved to Burnside and in Burnside, I started picking up where I left off a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but I was, I was gone. I was gone. And, and 
I know you're not living in the city these days, you know, um, but what do you think the future of breakdancing, you know, is? I think it's really going to branch out again, but I think it's really branch out in other countries. Like right now, it's really branch out in other countries, but I think it's going to come back over here if we help it, you know, if we voice it, if we put our energy into helping these kids, like, like, open up, you know, like centers and things like that, instead of um, just leaving them out there, like, really open up dancing studios, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it'll, it'll really branch out if, if we if we give it more effort, more energy, and I'm willing to do that also, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do it in due time. I just, I'm just, I'm just, right now I'm going through a little problems, but once I'm finished with that, I'm going to give it 100%. And, I, and like I said, I told him I was, and I haven't forgotten. I, I am I'm just going through a little, little stage right now. Once I finish with these little issues that I got, I'm coming full blast. So I ain't forget what I said. I made promises and I haven't forgotten, you know. Well, That's I forgot truth. to ask you, and I know you used to write. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know what? What you used to write? Oh yeah, I used to write space. I used to write space. Yeah, that's another thing that, like, like Bond Five. He told me, "Yo, bro, you like you, you supposed to be done with the graffiti. You was with me, like." I used to write space. When did you when did you start writing space? Bomb Five. When did you meet Bomb Five? That was my partner. That was my boy. Oh yeah, what what year? Yeah. Man, wow, seventy. I mean, do, 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 we was running together. We was young. Um, 74, 75. All right, all right. 74, 74 75, yeah. We was running around. I used to ride on the train. I used to have the four lines. I used to have, I used to ride all over the buses. I, used to, I was, I was up. I know Peabody. I know Mitch. I know TKA. The whole crew. I know Peabody. I know, I used to ride with them. All right. I was up. I was up. I was killing them. I was killing the fours, the five, and the twos. I was up. Wow. I still right. write. I'd be well, when did you start writing? What year? Well, mm, we could say... Because you, you, you were with Bomb 5, you yeah, said seven, four. Yeah, seven, I stopped writing like 70, 70, 79, 79. From 74 yeah. to 79? Yeah, I stopped writing in like 80. Got 80, it. I stopped writing because something happened to my pops and my mom's jetty. My pops got killed. My mom snatched me up and went to Puerto Rico. That's how... That's how that's how my breaking career just disappeared, really, in right. eight, 1980, because my mom's Grammy and sent me to Puerto Rico because my pops got killed and she thought I was going to get killed in Walton 183rd in Creston. I mean, Walton 183rd Street, wow. you know, well, yeah, in I'm the sorry. Bronx, 1979. Sorry for your 1980. Brother. 79 to 80. From 79 to 80. That's, I left in 80, but. My pops got killed from like I think it was the end of seventy nine or eighty. Got it. I think it was eighty, to be honest. Um that's how I disappeared in the eighties because my mom snatched me up and sent me to Puerto Rico and everything from there just back and forth, back and forth, and then I got locked up and everything went haywire. That's how the that's how Spy been a mystery and Spy been gone and Spy been been MIA and Spy's uh, um where is Spy? Well, that's what happened. My mom sent me to Puerto Rico. I came back in 81 and got in trouble. And 82, I got in trouble, and I've been gone since then. You know, long history of, of, of being incarcerated, for, for making bad choices, which I'm going to try to teach the younger generation not to do. What does being a B-boy mean to you? Um... Someone with style, someone with, with, with um, so I, I say so, uh, being a B-boy, someone with, um, someone with finesse, someone with style, someone with, with discipline, someone with, 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 with technique. Nice. nice. You no, know? being nice, someone being great. I say like, not really the great part, so, but someone with, uh, um, Someone, someone with style, like I said. Beautiful, beautiful. What does the Bronx mean to you? The Bronx, what it means to me, it means the foundation. It means um, my livelihood, 
where I grew up from, where I where I come from. It means it means a whole culture. It means um, it means greatness if you if you allow it to be. It also means poverty if 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 you look at it in a certain way. Um, it means um, help. Leon Figueroa, mm -hmm. also known as Spy, co-founder of the Crazy Commandos and one of the first, the first pioneering B-Boy. Thank you. I appreciate your testimony today. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I'm here for you 100% always. And I hope that I ain't um, um, hurt nobody's feelings and you know you're all still my peoples and I ain't mean it with no bad intention and I'm here for all of y'all. Peace, my brother. Thank you.